Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Shelly of Letters by Shells, and in this tutorial, we are going to be talking all about how to make a lettering brush on Procreate. The reason I wanted to make this tutorial is because I wanted to show you the step-by-step -step process now using Procreate 5. I already made a tutorial on this before, but I was using Procreate 4. Now that Procreate 5 has released, there are some slight changes with the interface that I wanted to address. And along with this video, I also wanted to address that my book was made using Procreate 4, but I can promise you that only the interface has really changed. The steps are still very similar and the projects can still be done using my book. Um, but again, I'm still being um, up to date with all the changes and I will continue to make more tutorials for you all so you can follow along. So with that being said, let's get started. I already have my Procreate app open along with the canvas. So I'm gonna use my Apple Pencil and tap on that brush icon right there. Uh, when you go ahead, open that up, it opens up the brush library. So on the left-hand side, if you scroll all the way down, you can see that blue plus symbol. That's where you can basically make a brand new folder. So that way you can store your new brushes that you're creating. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a folder I already made in the past. So as long as you have that folder open, just go ahead and tap on that plus symbol at the upper right hand corner right there and then when you open that up you'll be able to see um, that it opens up this whole brush studio so this is where the major changes happened so everything is still the same but the interface has now changed um, back in procreate 4 when you made a new brush it was only half the screen size on the right hand side but now it's the entire screen which, which is really nice because now you can see everything a little bit more clear and you can do like more test runs on the right hand side right, that you see there so the first thing you wanna to do to make this lettering brush is tap on that shape folder. In the shape folder, you'll already see that a round uh, circle has been selected, but in order to access like that Procreate library that we talked about in the last video, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that edit button and then now import and then now click on source library. And this is basically the entire library that has been created for you. Um, but for this example, let's go ahead and tap on that oval shape. Once the oval shape has been selected, make sure you wanna save everything and click done at the upper right hand corner right there. So now going down to my grain, I wanna make sure that it's a solid white background, which it already is, which is really nice. Um, so I'm not gonna even touch that screen anymore. I just wanted to make sure that that was there. And the reason why this lettering brush is gonna be different from all the other brushes that you see is because I wanna make sure that when I make a lettering brush, see that it changes in pressure so for every like downstroke that I do I want to make sure that I can see like really thick lines and every light strokes that I do the chain on um, the pressure will change and the thickness will vary as well the goal is to have thick lines for my downstrokes and thin lines for my upstrokes so tapping on that Apple pencil folder go ahead and increase my size all the way to the max you'll see there now the tip has been a lot more thinner and then I'm gonna go ahead and decrease my opacity as well and everything else looks good, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. The nice thing about the new brush studio is that you can tap on about this brush and it's like a really cool thing. You can credit your brush and like we let other people know that you made this brush. So you can tap on that icon right there with the photo and basically input your own photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you in this example and then you can just type in your name made by, you know, shells <laughs> and then I'm just gonna sign it. It's just a really neat thing, but I feel like it's really neat to have because people who do create Procreate brushes, you know, we wanna be recognized for it as well. So I totally, I feel like this is like a good way to give credit to the creators. And I think it's really awesome that Procreate has now made this new addition. So the last thing that we're gonna be doing is uh, checking the stroke path folder. So when you tap on that folder, I'm, I'm gonna decrease the spacing because I wanna make sure that when I create my downstrokes, it's gonna be really smooth lines. When the spacing is already defaulted or it's been increased in some way, you'll notice that the lines are not gonna be as smooth because it's like almost like you're adding a spacing in between the, the strokes, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and then also increase my streamline because I wanna make sure that this brush is dragging with me. So hopefully that all made sense, but let me go ahead and do a, a quick test run and really just see how it works out. So when I'm doing this test run, I'm noticing that my my stroke is itself, it's like really thick and I, that's not exactly what I was hoping for, but I'm not gonna go back into the brush settings to make those changes because the pressure will always be 
vary depending on the canvas size that you have. So instead, I'm gonna go to my left hand side right there and then decrease the brush size. After I decrease the brush size, I'm just gonna test it out again. And this is exactly more what I was looking for. I'm just gonna do a quick more other test runs and just kind of see how it feels. So I feel good about it. So I'm gonna tap on the brush icon again and then um, tap on that brush one more time. And let's go ahead and go back to uh, about this brush. And I'm just gonna tap on that untitled brush section right there. I wanna name it now. Now that I'm happy with this brush, I wanna make sure that I, I keep it and it's finalized click done and you're all set. So there you have it. That's basically how to make a lettering brush on Procreate 5. So it's really similar to my last video, but I wanted to make sure that I made this video because I know the interface has changed. It also confused me as well. So I wanted to make sure that everything was addressed. I hope that was clear. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I will uh, be making more videos using Procreate 5. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.